Now, it's recording. So what we're looking for is all of the missing arcs. And we are also going to have to maybe add up and subtract some arcs in order to find the angles. So the goal is the angles, but the first step that I suggest doing would be to find the arc AED. So the measure of arc AED is taking 90, 20, and 100, um, yep, and taking that away from 360. So we have a full circle, which is at all of the arcs together, but AED is only the arc that starts with A, goes through E, then D, and it is the other part of the circle that's not already given. And so that would be 150 degrees. Okay? Now, after we have this information, 150 degrees, then we have enough information to find the measure of angle 1. So then the measure of angle 1 is going to be 1 half the difference of ABD, which is this whole arc here, and AED. And ABD is just going to be 90 plus 20 plus 100. So 90 plus 20, um, 110, and then that together would be 210 minus 150. And so if you did all that, one half of that, the measure of angle 1 is going to end up being 30 degrees. Okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and put in 30 degrees here for angle 1 on my on the drawing so I know that that's done. Now, the next thing that we could figure out would probably be this AE, which would then give us information for angle two. Now, EOC is the diameter, which means that this whole arc, EAC, is 180, and we only need AE. And so if we take 90 plus 20, which is 110, and subtract from 180, we're going to get AE. So the measure of arc AE is 180 minus 110. And so the measure of AE is 70 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and write that in. Now since we have this as 150, this whole thing, this is also going to be 80. Now we could have also found ED by taking 100 from 180 because this is the other semicircle. Okay, so you could have done that as well. Now, that means that we can find the measure of angle 2 because the measure of angle 2 is going to be equal to the measure of arc AE. And so the measure of angle 2 is equal to 70 as well. Now let's go to the measure of angle 3. So for the measure of angle 3, we need to no AED. The measure of angle 3 is equal to 1 half the measure of angle AED. We know that the measure of, A of sorry, of arc AED. The measure of angle, um, why do I keep saying angle instead of arc? It's so annoying. Okay, 1 half 150 because AED is equal to 150. And so the measure of angle 3 is equal to 75 degrees. So we have 70 degrees for angle 2 and 75 degrees for angle three. Now, for angle four. Angle four is equal to the difference between this arc BC and this arc AE. So the formula for that would be one half the measure of arc 
AE minus the measure of arc BC, looking at the drawing, that's 70 minus 20. So 1 half 70 minus 20, or 1 half 50, um, so then the measure of angle 4 is equal to 25. Okay, now for the measure of angle five. Now the measure of angle five, angle five is another angle that's on a circle which is going to be half of its intercepted arc. Now half of its arc, so we need to find actually the whole arc DAB, and that's by taking 150 plus 90, and that's 240. And so the measure of angle 5 is actually going to be half of the measure of DAB, which we just found, and so the measure of angle 5 is half of 240, and so the measure of angle 5 is equal to 120. And finally, we can find the measure of angle 6. So the idea of measure of angle 6, angle 6 is an angle inside of the circle, which is half of the sum of the arcs. So we have this arc ED and BC. So the measure of angle 6 is equal to 1 half the measure of ED plus the measure of BC from the circle, ED is 80, BC is 20. So we're going to say that the measure of angle 6 is 80 plus 20, 1 half 80 plus 20, which is equal to 50. So the measure of angle 6 is equal to 50. So just a review of the different types of angles. We have central angles, which are equal to the minor arcs. We have angles that are on the circle, like angle 3 and angle 5, which would be half of the intercepted arcs. We have angles that are outside of the circle, like angle 1 and angle 4, which is half of the difference of the intercepted arcs. And then we have angles that are inside of the circle, but not central angles, that are one half the sum of the intercepted arcs.